All right, guys, so welcome back to my Mega Man Mega Marathon. Tonight, I'm going to be finishing Mega Man, um, Mega Man 7. I almost forgot what game I was playing. Um, here's a little Easter egg. If you hold X or, um, well, if you, heard, uh, if you hold a certain button while you select Shade Man stage, the music actually changes. Listen to this. That is not Mega Man music. This is actually a cheat code to replace the music of this particular stage with the music from Ghosts and Goblins, AKA probably Capcom's hardest game ever. Seriously, uh, even like some call me Johnny absolutely despises at least the original Ghosts and Goblins. And I think mixing that, um, that game and having sort of a crossover with Mega Man here is honestly kind of genius. Oh, got hit by that twice. But yeah, the music you're hearing right now, this is not Mega Man music. This is actually music straight from Ghosts and Goblins just rearranged for Mega Man. A lot of the enemies and stuff you see here are based on Ghosts and Goblins. Uh, even just the, you know, the aesthetic here is borrowed from that game. So this is really like a crossover. Where is it? I probably should have paused the game and then switched to Thunderbolt. Alright. Oh, wait. Wait, is this the path I want to take? Wait, I don't know if this is the path I should be taking. Because I believe Proto Man is on this path. In fact, I think I missed another Proto Man location, so that is my bad if I did. I'm gonna be honest though, Proto Man is kinda useless in this game. I will go back and showcase um, the other. Um, why can't I move? Oh. Oh, I thought it was about to be some kind of cutscene, but no, I'm just an idiot. I was just running into a, an invisible surface. Is there anything I can use to light this area? Oh, wait, you're supposed to light the candles. Gotcha. I've never actually taken that path before. Oh great, an elevator. Just like every beat em up game, gotta love it. Seriously, uh, name one beat em up game that doesn't have an elevator in it. Like Streets of Rage has it, Final Fight has it. Um. Yikes, that was close. I don't think you actually have to kill the enemies here. I think they just pass by you if you jump over them. And it is probably a good idea to just avoid them. Okay, I am really low on health, so I'm gonna get more of that before, you know, I die. Please? Can I press the right button, please? Is A, okay. I don't even have an E-Tank. I can't even go super here. That's messed up. Yikes. Um, okay. Oh, wow. It put me right back here. This is good, though, because you don't want to take the path I was taking. 
And yeah, when the pumpkin opens up like that, don't shoot it. Because how you defeat this thing actually dictates what path you end up taking. So if you shoot it in the eyes like this, it will take a while, but you won't have to worry about, you know, taking that lower path, which is a lot harder. And yeah, when it opens up like that, you want to stay as far away from it as possible. It does have a pretty simplistic pattern, you know, just shoot it uh, once or twice and then get to the other side of the room. It's a very simple pattern, and thankfully that attack can't actually hurt you. So yeah, this is the path that I'm more used to taking. But yeah, this level is basically a crossover between Mega Man and Ghosts and Goblins. Which does officially happen in the um, uh, Mega Man and Sonic Worlds Unite comic crossover. And wow, one of the few times you actually need Rush Cro- Oh, wait. Huh, okay, that's not it either. Okay. Oh my god, okay. Bro, out here getting me with the mind games. Oh. Okay, I think I need the super adapter for this dude. Hit him with the rocket punch. What is up here? Okay. Oh, yep, definitely gotta run. Wait, no. I think I missed Proto Man. He's in here somewhere, isn't he? No, he's not. That's just to get to the one up. Okay, so I was taking the right path. Wait, did they go down in one shot? Two. Okay, it's two shots. Close enough, but. I am hoping I can get through the rest of the classic series before the Battle Network Legacy Collection comes out, because I do want to showcase that collection when it comes out, and then move on to the Mega Man X games. I was going to try to get through every, like, um, hang on, wait a second, I missed him, didn't I? He was up there, wasn't he? It was like a invisible fake wall situation, wasn't it? Okay, hopefully Thunderbolt makes this go a little bit faster. Oh my god, yo, he actually adjusted his trajectory to hit me. Oh my god, okay. That's annoying. Yikes. Oh wait, he shoots at you like that if you're using the Thunderbolt, right? That's kind of a dumb mechanic, but oh well. I guess it's a fair punishment for abusing weaknesses. Okay, there's no way that shouldn't have hit, right? Oh wait, it does the spinning attack if you- wait, no. I don't get what triggers that other attack. Yikes. That's what I get for being cocky. You gotta admit, though, this is a pretty cool, like, crossover level. Even though this mini-boss really freaking sucks. 
I'm sorry, I don't like this mini boss at all. It just takes way too long to kill. Like, when, when I think Mega Man mini bosses, they should be quick to kill. I'm at least gonna make it- Ooh, a one-up, thank you. Oh wait, do I need Super Mega Man for that? That actually worked, let's go. Wait, does he climb ladders faster? I feel like he climbs ladders faster, or am I just, no, he climbs ladders at the same speed. What am I talking about? That What is that hitbox? All right, I know exactly what I need here. Okay, maybe I need to... Oh, right, I can't for... I forgot you can't slide in this form. Uh, but yeah, you're actually supposed to be able to fight Proto Man here if you found him in the other two uh, levels that he's in. Wasn't one of the other levels he was in, like Slash Man stage or something? I swear, he was in like Slash Man's level or something like that. I'll have to look it up so that I remember, but yeah, I remember... Uh, Proto Man being in this stage. Damn, I was careless. Uh, yeah, I think Bass actually says damn in the original script for this game. I think they censored it for this release. I feel so stupid to be, I admit, mean, to have been defeated so easily. Why do I sound like Shadow the Hedgehog? Maybe I should give up and leave Wily to you. I uh, gotta love the sarcasm. Yeah, so Proto Man is in this level. I think you just have to find him in the other two spots he's in. And here we have, um, Shade Man. I forgot who I was going after. And I also forgot what the hell he's actually weak to. I think it's Wild Coil, though. Oh, yeah, doesn't he try to, like, swoop down on you? Oh, yep, that is hack. Oh, my God, he got me twice in a row. Okay. Ha, missed me. Booyah. Style on him. <laughs> Took him down while I was frozen, let's go. And by frozen, I mean turned into stone, but same thing. Jeez, I was playing that level for 13 minutes? Bruh. And I know what you're probably thinking. Can I hear the original song that goes to that stage? Yes, you can, actually. I'll, um, I'll go through the stage again and play that song for you guys. Um, the song you're gonna hear next time I go through this stage is actually Shade Man's theme. And wow, look at that! Dr. Wily's lab is destroyed. I wonder who could have done this? Oh yeah, but that's the thing, um, 
that's actually a bit of foreshadowing. It's implied that Shade Man actually took out base just now. And apparently later in the game when you fight base again, he's actually weak to Shade Man's weapon. So yeah, pay attention to that. And yeah, um, as you can see, uh, base in trouble, uh, great pun by the way, they're basically supposed to be like rivals for Mega Man and Rush. Alright, so I could go into the Wily Castle and finish this game, but before I do that, I am going to be running through Shade Man stage again, just to showcase the regular music track that plays here, as well as trying to get a smoother run. You know, a run that doesn't take me 13 minutes to complete. That would be nice. So yeah, this is Shade Man's original theme, and this is actually made for this game. These ladders can be a little bit weird to grab onto, but... Oh wow, I actually got sniped. You jerk. Oh, did it just shake his butt at me? Oh, hell no. Yeah, no, I'm not taking that from two of them. That's actually so disrespectful. I, I didn't even realize that they were shaking their butt at you. I was about to say another word, but, you know, had to keep myself somewhat kid-friendly there. Oh great, this boss again. So I think it shoots like that if you shoot it at all when it, you know, opens up. Actually, no, I think it's literally random. Yeah, I think that might literally just be RNG. Oh, dang it. I was just asking to get hit by that. Ooh, that had to hurt. But see, I'm already making good progress through this level. See, booyah. Health, okay, nice. Let's use Rush Coil this time. Got all reliable there. Because, yeah, Rush Coil, I mean, you can't go wrong with it. It is next to useless in this game. Bro! I just got hit four times in a row by that same enemy. That's the thing with this game, it is very easy to get stun locked. And that becomes even more of an issue during Ugh, the final boss. Yeah, the final boss in this game, I've talked about it before, but it's no joke. You know what, let's probably go back to normal so I can actually slide again, that would be nice. Because yeah, those wolves are very annoying to dodge if you're Super Mega Man. Yeah, there are some enemies or hazards that you're actually going to want to just be regular Mega Man for because they will be very annoying if you're, you know, Super Mega Man. I don't even think I refight the boss here, do I? 
Yeah, no, Shade Man is already dead, so I don't have to fight him again. See, that was a much smoother run. And also, before I go to the Wily stages, I'm gonna go show off something a little bit different for this. Um, as you can see, this game has a shop, something that neither of the two games before, or neither of the six games before had. What the hell am I talking about when I say two games? And clearly there were more than that. Uh, but yeah, I found that giant bolt uh, while I was playing off screen. Actually, I might have found it during the West Play. I'm not sure, but... Um, I found that, and it's good because you can spend less bullets using that, uh, giant one that I made, I mean, that I found. So, everything costs half the price now. So, it's very useful. I'm actually going to be stocking up on E-Tanks, and I'm going to be buying some Weapon Tanks as well, because... Okay, I have enough. Alright, so... I'm not sure, is this the one where... Hang on. Okay, I'm gonna go back now. Alright, here we go. So, now it's time to go into the Wily Castle. I actually don't remember much of this. I remember bits and pieces of the levels, and I remember some of the boss fights, but honestly, this is gonna be kinda new to me. This is probably one of my favorite Wily Castle themes, though. Because I remember it. this one kind of starts off sort of generic. But it does get better when the melody kicks in. Oh. This is the most, like, Mega Man X sounding song in this game. I know it's the same hardware, but still, they, this song sounds like something you would hear in Mega Man X and not classic Mega Man. Oh, I forgot about this gimmick. Wait. Yeah, the lights turn off every time you uh, land on the ground. I forgot about this gimmick. I knew that this had, like, some gimmick with the lights, but yeah, I forgot it turns off every time you jump. Or wait, no, it turns on every time you jump. Oh my god, oh wow. Out of here, oh no, oh no, no, no. Yeah, let's go super again. Ha, got him. You thought you were getting away, didn't you? Wait, do you need Super Mega Man for this? I think it's, like, optional, right? Oh, okay. Okay. All right. Yeah, it's a good idea to kind of, like, hop in place like I'm doing right now. Because, yeah, this, uh, you know, lights off gimmick is... Woo! Okay. Yeah, thank God I have a double jump, too. Out of here. Yeah, thank God I have a double jump. That is such a... There's no way... And I already had four E-Tanks. What the hell am I doing? Alright, I believe 
base is through those doors. So let's get his weakness on him. You are far too weak, Mega Man. Wily may fear you, but I do not. Okay, that line actually goes really hard. Uh, but yeah, we're fighting uh, base right now. So what you want to do uh, with the weapon I'm using is you want to shoot yourself with it. And you can actually fire off a stronger shot. Yeah, that's the thing though. Base, he's kind of aggressive. Um, he will mop the floor with you if you're not ready. So probably be ready for him because yeah, this is kind of a brutal boss if you don't know what you're doing. And I'm gonna be honest, I am really not that good at fighting base. Like, I tried to give him a fair match since he's using a buster and, like, use a buster against him, but I just think it's cooler to use the, uh, 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 what is it called? The, um, noise crush on him. Okay, wow. Oh, wow. Never said anything about using save saves, did I? And I know what you're gonna say, isn't that cheating? Hey, it's not cheating if the game gives it to you. <laughs> uh, let's see, what do I want to use? Do I want to use Super Mega Man against him? Actually, no, let's go Buster versus Buster. Let's see how this works out. You can't even start the match with a charge shot. That is actually kind of brutal. But yeah, I forgot. Uh, base kind of kicks my ass in this game. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yo. Oh wait, he, he shoots every time he jumps, right? Oh my god. This is so much to look out for because I... I have to watch out to make sure he doesn't bump into me or, you know, snipe me from the other side of the stage. This is such a weird arena to fight in. I wish you just fought base in a flat room. That would have been so much better than whatever this is. I don't even know how you're supposed to fight in this room. Although, I must say, uh, Base's theme in this game, Friend or Foe, is really good. Uh, this song, spoiler alert, does get remixed in Mega Man 8, but uh, we'll get to that when we get to it. I shot that the wrong way. I might have to switch to the D-pad for this because, oh my god, he's kicking my ass right now. Base is actually kicking up. How did people do this back in the day? I mean, I know, yes, he does technically have two weaknesses, but I mean, doing this buster only is like, how do people do this? Because I'm trying to give him a fair fight and, you know, use the same weapon he's using against me, but this is not working out well at all. And I already know, oh my god, he absolutely, he absolutely demolished me there. And I already know what some of you guys are gonna say, oh, skill issue, yeah, whatever. Alright, let's go. I think his pattern is random, too. Like, he doesn't really have much of a pattern. Like, he doesn't have a set pattern that he follows. It's just, you know, he does whatever he wants. Oh! Ah. Oh my god, base. Please! No! No! <laughs> Okay, I am making progress. That was better than the last couple of matches. 
I'm gonna I'm gonna give him a fair match. I've never beat him this way, and I want to make this the first time I do. Okay, so he's gonna open up with a shot, and then he's gonna jump. Oh my God, no, no, bro. That's the thing that makes bass hard. He he hits so much harder than you do. I think that's what makes him tricky. Oh, he hit me, but I didn't hit him. Oh my god. Yo, yo, give me some room to breathe, dude. Oh my god, face, no, stop, stop. You're my favorite the classic Mega Man character. You can't do this to me, bro. <laughs> Oh, wow. Okay, so... Oh, wait, he's chasing me, isn't he? Wait, no, what is he doing? I, I literally do not understand his pattern. What is he doing? Is he chasing me? Is he... I feel like he's chasing me. That is not fair. I feel like... Part of me is saying base really should not deal contact damage. But at the same time, that's part of what makes this fight fun. You're having to avoid him and his shots, but you're in such a cramped space that makes it really hard to do. Like, that's why I think the rematch with base is so much better than this fight. Because, I mean, don't get me wrong, I liked this fight, but... It is kind of overwhelming. You know what? I'm just going to use um, Noise Crush on him. I don't have time to be figuring this out with the Buster. Oh, man. Is he actually weak to that? I don't feel like it's doing much more damage than the Buster. Oh my god, he mopped to the floor with me anyways. It's like he kicked my ass even harder for using his supposed weakness. I know he's also weak to the Super Adapter, which, you know what, screw it. I'm just gonna use this on him and just hope for the best. I know what you're saying, this isn't fair, Ultra. Well, wait until the second match, then. Yeah, if you want a fair match, wait until the rematch against him. Because honestly, yeah, I'm not even worried about fair anymore. See, yep, that's his weakness. I know you guys were probably expecting a more entertaining match than that, but you know what? I I can't provide, sorry. Oh no, not the cockroaches. Okay, that's actually terrifying. <laughs> oh, wait. Yeah, the actual boss here. What is... It's Guts, man, isn't it? Yep. I think I remember his weakness, too. Wasn't it, like, Freeze Cracker? Oh, what the heck? Wait, no, no, no. It was, um, Slash Claw. I forgot. If it can even hit him, that... How much damage did that even do? That is crazy. That is just gnarly. That is unnecessary. I feel like Slash Claw is his weakness, though. I remember using it on him. 
It doesn't deal any damage when I use it on Gutsman himself. Oh, I have to slash the boulders into him. Right. Hey! You jerk. You can't do that. You know what? I'm about to use my back air on you. Oh, wait! Wait, do you have to spin and do it? How do you avoid getting grabbed like that? Bruh. Ain't no way. Wait, no. How do you avoid his grab? That is actually a really good question. And how does the Slash Claw even work here? Like, do you have to use it backwards to, in order to deal damage? Because... I think it is stronger when you use it like a back air attack. Oh my god. Bro. Oh god, that's gonna kill me, isn't it? Yep. Alright, uh, let's see how many tries this takes. Oh boy. Oh, uh, slash quad. Oh my god. Is that even avoidable? Oh, I'm out of ammo. That is not good. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah, that is not good at all. All right, so let's use one of my E-Tanks. Probably gonna need a weapon tank, too. I really do not want to have to use that, but... Oh my god. No, 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 just die. Die. Come on, man, you were already in Mega Man 1, don't get greedy. Oh wow, that's kind of hard to look at with the shaking. All right. All right, let's go. Wily 2. I'm only getting to Wily 2. Wow. All I believe your weapons fill up like between stages, right? And also your health, but it's mainly your weapons, right? I actually don't remember this stage at all. Clearly I don't, because I died like frame one. Oh no, wait. I just remembered what the boss of this area was. Oh no. Yep, I'm remembering something about this area. <laughs> oh boy, I'm looking at the decorations here. I'm seeing some turtles. And that's reminding me of something. And I don't like it. Um, hello? What? There we go. Oh, I remember this song, actually. 
Okay, there's no way he could have blocked that. That clearly hit him in the head. Or should have hit him in the head, at least. This game makes no sense sometimes. Wasn't this stage really short? Oh, base. Ah, oh, my weight is over. This time the mighty Mega Man shall fall. Trouble attack. Oh, wait. I forgot about this, actually. Ah, my transformation is cooler than yours. Oh, he uses that against me, too. Oh, no. Alright, what's he doing? Alright, he's gonna fire his fist at me. Oh, he came all the way down to do it. I wasn't expecting him to actually chase me and shoot his fist. Alright, I'm not gonna do the voice acting again. You heard me voice act bass once. I don't know if he actually sounds like Shadow the Hedgehog. And no, the Mega Man 8 voice acting does not count at all. Oh yeah, I can transform too. Okay. You're fast though. Oh my god. Yo, wait, he can fire charge shots in his super form? That's cheating. Yeah, I can't do that. Why should he be able to? Why? Why can't I destroy him? Alright, uh, well, try again in Mega Man 8. Loser. Oh. Yep, and this is when they start combining different gimmicks together. Oh boy. Oh boy, how overjoyed I am to have to deal with these freaking springs again. Oh my god, no, 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 no. I'm literally at 1 HP. All right, one mistake here could be my last. At least for this run. Wow, that sounded way more dramatic than I wanted it to. Why was my slide not coming out? Oh wait, the drums in this song actually kind of sound like bass's theme, I just realized. Oh my god, I almost got burned there. Oh wait, that's going down. Alright, try again, I guess. You know what? I might actually have to prolong this to one more part. Because I know how much you guys are loving watching me, mo uh, you know play Mega Man 7 just because of the enormous amount of views these videos have been getting. That is totally sarcasm, but you know what? Even if Mega Man videos don't get that many views, I'm still going to be making them. Whether you guys like it or not, I'm still going to be making them. And I'm not even being petty or salty or anything. I mean, I'm just saying, you know, I know these videos don't get that many views, but... For those people who do stick around for Mega Man content, just know, just because these videos tend to not do as well as my Sonic videos, I mean, I'm still going to be making these, so don't think that's going to change. Yikes. One thing that I hope does change is my severe skill issue at this game, now. Okay, will this other bat come out? Bruh. 
Oh, now you want to come out. Um, hello? Why is it aiming for the platform? Oh, wait, did I actually get it or not? There is no way, you know what, yeah, let's make this one more part. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you leave a like, subscribe, all that stuff. Cheesy YouTuber outro. And in the next video, we're going to be finishing this game, for real. So, it's your boy signing off. Peace, take care, everyone.